you're getting a two for one special. I'm first going to show you how I'm taking this Dollar Tree laundry basket and turning it into the cutest gift basket. It's nice and big and it is perfect for stuffing with all sorts of goodies. And I'm going to make this for under $10. Now to find a basket like this somewhere else in the store, this size, it would cost you at least $20 and that would be probably a good deal. So for under $10, we're going to make this super cute. Then I'm going to share with you what I'm actually going to put in it as I make a 40th birthday survival kit for a friend of mine who is turning 40. I'm Stephanie and I've been running an online handmade business, ILYB Designs, since 2014. Now, I don't know about you, but I have a little bit of crafters ADD. So if you take a look at my website, you'll see I make a variety of different types of custom items. So I created this channel so I can share with you my crafty tips and tricks and provide you with inspiration for projects you can complete at home. So come craft with me. And as always, consider subscribing to my channel and like and comment on a video when you see something you like. Now let's get on with today's video. Okay, so to decorate the laundry basket, I am using three of these nautical ropes from Dollar Tree. They are eight feet long each, and I got three of those. Then I have this burlap type of ribbon with polka dots on it. It is two and a half inches wide, and I got this at Big Lots for $4 for this whole roll, which I'm not gonna use the whole roll. And then I'm using this burlap ribbon that you can always find at Hobby Lobby. It's, they have this at Christmas time. You can also always find it in like the floral area. Um, and I believe this whole roll is $4.99 usually, and it's always on sale. So I'm sure I probably only paid $2.50 for this. So I'm just gonna start along the bottom of the laundry basket and hot glue the rope around. You have to hold it in place for a second to get it to stick down. Then just repeat this process in little sections all the way around the bottom of the basket. I did about four inch sections, which worked well for me. Now here I started gluing on top of the rope because the solid part of the basket ended. You just want to be careful you don't have a lot of glue oozing out in between the rope, so just go easy on the hot glue. I did end up using a little extra scrap of rope I had so that the rope went up to the bottom of one of the rows of openings. When I got to the end, I stuck the end of the rope into one of the openings and glued it to the inside of the basket. I tried hot glue first, but it wasn't holding, so you're going to want some type of super glue for this. I used this stick fast glue, which worked great. I'll link it below. Just be sure you don't get it on your fingers because trust me, they will stick together and it's not good. Just use the nozzle to help push the rope down. So now I'm going to take the burlap ribbon and start where I glued the rope down so that all my seams are on the same side and that will be the back of my basket. And now I just weave the burlap through the holes. I just stuck it down one hole and up the next and then left two empty holes before putting the burlap down another hole. I did the same all around the basket so it was uniform, and I just puffed the burlap and arranged it how I wanted it as I went. It depends on how poofy you want it, but you can just play with that to get it just how you like it. Now at the end, I cut off the burlap so I had a little bit left on the inside and took some twine to tie the burlap pieces together and then cut off the excess. I tried just knotting them together first, but it was too bulky. So I always have twine on hand and this worked great. Then I did the same thing with the ribbon, starting where all my seams are meeting up and weaving it through the holes. But this time I wanted to alternate where the white slat showed up, but then weaved it through the same. Thank you. 
To attach the ribbon at the end, I just hot glued the pieces together because I knew this ribbon would be easy to hot glue and would lay flat instead of tying it like the burlap. And I also glued the tail of the ribbon to one of the white slats for extra hold. And then for the top row, I'm going to repeat this one. You could do whatever you want. You could repeat, um, you could repeat the polka dots or whatever ribbon you use, or you could do more rope. Um, but because this is so affordable, um, I'm going to do that just to keep the cost down. So find my seam. Okay, my seam is there. So I want to start here. And again, I want to alternate. So I want this here strip um, to be just like this. And here is how the basket turned out. I love it. Who knew you could make a Dollar Tree laundry basket look so cute? I need to make one for myself now. Not sure what I'll use it for, but I gotta have one. So I'd love to hear your ideas of what you would use this basket for around your home. I'll be using it as a gift basket, so stick around and I'm gonna show you all the goodies I put in it. I think this would be great for a baby shower gift basket stuffed with baby essentials, and I'm sure the new mom could then find something to store in the basket. The same for bridal shower gift baskets and housewarming gifts, but I'm going to show you all the goodies I put in it for my friend's 40th birthday survival kit. I'm going to show you everything that I am putting in for the 40th birthday, just in case you're looking for a fun 40th birthday gift. I did put some packing paper in the bottom just to kind of firm up the bottom um, because the first thing I'm putting in there are two of her favorite bottles of wine and all I did was created this label and I just stuck it right on top of the label. I didn't even bother taking the original label off. So cheers to 40 years. And it just so happened after I designed all these tags, I realized it totally coordinated with the polka dot ribbon that I had. It, that really wasn't planned. It just worked out that way. So cheers to 40 years. And this one, 40, the other F word. And all of these tags, um, it's going to come as a set and it will be available on my website in case you want to purchase it. This here is a frame that I got and I actually bought this off of, not the frame, but I bought the printout on Etsy. And it's really cool, I think. It says 40 years ago, back in 1981 when she was born. And it has specific events that happened in that year, what things cost, um, sports highlights, popular songs on the radio. I just thought it was really cool to look back and see what was happening in the year that she was born. So I did purchase that printout on Etsy. I will link that in the description box below. And then I just printed it out and then put it in a frame that I got. Then I made her a shirt that says the one where I turn 40. So I'm just going to roll that up and put that in there. And then all the tags are just, most of them are some kind of fun little 40 saying. So this is bite me 40 on a pack of cookies, a pack of Hershey Kisses. And this jar is from Dollar Tree. And I put, put the pack of Hershey Kisses in there and then kiss your 30s goodbye. And I don't know if you guys have seen the movie, this is 40, but I love it. It's so funny. So I just made a little movie ticket so that we can have a girls night one night and watch the movie, this is 40. I found this book at Dollar Tree as I was looking for different things, and I just thought it was funny because it's large print, and um, well, I'm already in my 40s, and I'll tell you my eyesight is going quickly, so trust me, your eyes are the first to go in your 40s, so just a little fun. Um, some of these things are just cheapy little things that you can get, just really just um, for fun and to put a smile on her face. This was another thing I found at Dollar Tree. It was called Crybaby. <laughs> so uh, it says, don't be a crybaby, you're only 40. It's some kind of sour bubble gum. A package of hot tamales candies, hot flash prep. This is a little candle and it says, relax, 40 is only a number, right? This is um, one of the little mason jar containers that they sell at Dollar Tree and I just spray painted the top black so that it would match everything. And there's 40 pennies in it. And it says, 40 good wishes for the future. And here's another one of the mason jars with just paper clips in it. And it says, you're 40, hold your bleep together. And one more of the mason jars that says, 40 spares for when you lose yours. And in it are 40 marbles from Dollar Tree. Then I got some dum dum lollipops. You can do any kind of lollipops. And then it says, 40 sucks. Get it? 
<laughs> and I just, this is just like a goodie bag, a plastic goodie bag that I had left over from something. And so I just stuck them in there and then put the tag on it. And then along the same lines is some bubble gum, 40 pieces of bubble gum, 40 blows. And then a little scrunchie that I got from Dollar Tree and it says party like it's 1981. And that's just a little tag that I wrapped around and then put double-sided tape and stuck it together. Here's a Dollar Tree mirror. And it says, look at you turning 40 and bleep. And then this is just a roll of toilet paper with the poop emoji, ear 40. And it's just a toilet paper wrap. Really simple to do. I made it really easy for you guys just to print it on one sheet and then wrap it around the toilet paper. And then this is a sign that I made with my laser. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I have a Glowforge and I've started to make things with the Glowforge. So this is going to be like the little card that we all sign when we get together. And all we're going to do is write on it with a Sharpie marker and sign on here. Um, and then that'll be like her little keepsake from her 40th. And I will have these available, um, this available in my shop coming soon. And so there you have it. Now we have this whole gift basket put together. So I hope this video gave you some ideas on how you can use Dollar Tree laundry baskets to make cute gift baskets for all different occasions. I will put a link below where you can purchase a set of all the 40th birthday tags I showed in this video if you want to make a 40th birthday survival kit like this one. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. See you later.